up, you fools? Don't steal my line. It's Matt ESC United, your favorite Eurovision channel. We just watched Poland rehearse for the very first time. And of course, I'm sure you have a lot of thoughts on this one. So let's talk this through. So Poland, as you know, Gromi has his DJ booth kind of thingy in the back, in the center of the stage, a little bit further in the back. And it has lights, it illuminates, you know, it flashes, kind of with the lights of the stage. I think there's a lot of blue and purple. Blue is, of course, the color of the year in Eurovision, it appears. And um, what else? They have three backup vocalists to the side, his left, uh, um, and then um, the lead singer is in the front of the stage. And then the guitar player as well, right? Am I missing that? I think there was somebody else, right? I think there was. Yeah, there was one guitar player. It's like, oh, there's so much happening. So um, that's what's happening. At some point, he walks out the yes. the ramp and then off to the, uh, what you call it, the, the catwalk and um, interacts with the crowd that is currently not there. But he was doing that. And um, yeah, there was a lot going on. Very similar to the national final, but with a little bit more of a twist to it. What did you think? Well, I think the first thing, this is the theme of the performance, yes. isn't it? Really, this movement. Um, well, people told me, by the way, that gr that's Gromi's um, like, a signature, a move. signature yes. move. Yes. Yeah, but I, I think that the, the theme of this performance and where they really need to improve is camera work. Because I think we were all discussing it on the live stream that the camera work does need a lot of work on it. Um, it's difficult to stage these kind of entries because you do have a lot of empty space where there's no vocals and nothing to focus on, so you do need to fill that. I think that will come naturally with the audience because um, it is the type of song that you know you need to perform live to an audience. Um, but I think uh, the energy's there, the vocals are there. Um, you know, they're, they're, they're decent for this type of song. They're not going to you know set the world alight, but I think you know Lucas does a very good job. Um, I like the staging and the lights, the purple and the blues work quite well. Um, and uh, it was, you know, it was steadily improving as we go. But um, yeah, I just think some of the camera work needs some improvement. But I think once the audience are there, it will look a lot better. What do you think? I think that it was um, a good performance, but as you say, a, a bit of a blurred camera work. Um, it, it, it seemed like it was missing focus. Should it folk and and also altogether this was spinning around from having him waving his hands and then make a spin and then back to the waving again. It was like for twice, me twice. I did that twice yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah. It, it it does it multiple times and for me it's like when you do the spin, I don't want to see what it, what just happened before the spin. I would like to see something new. Yeah. Or, or focus somewhere else. And then I think that the the backing vocals vocalists seemed a bit underwhelming. In the like bored kind of thing? I, I wouldn't say bored, but they just seem like, oh, we're just here. Okay. To me, they, they didn't make any impact on, on, on the performance visually mm -hmm. or vocally for, for that. Um, so, uh, in a way, I, I do like the song. I think he's, he's an okay, the, the, okay vocalist. He's like better than okay. <laughs> I couldn't do this. Uh, he's a good vocalist. But still, there's something missing in, in overall. Overall, yeah. it's not quite there yet. I agree with both what you're saying. There is a lot of um, good stuff happening there. And what's interesting is, it's, as you pointed out, it gets better every yeah. single run through. And that is why they don't show these uh, rehearsals because you know there is improvement. Then they don't want to be, like drop them in the betting odds because just because they didn't do well on this one or the camera ca angle looks weird or whatever. So um, we don't want to judge them too much. But that's what I like about it. I, that's why I'm so optimistic about Poland. I saw with the first one was, I mean, I'm going to be blatantly honest, the first one was like, oh my God, this is this is a hot mess. Uh, there was no camera angle that was working almost and um, everything was off. But by the time the fourth one came around, I was like, the fireworks are there. A lot of the camera work has been fixed. It, th this can look good. This song requires a crowd. Without the crowd, the energy feels a little like, mm, it's not quite there. But um, it's true. I have this issue. As I um, Gromi does a signature move, this, a lot. And <laughs> a lot, lot. And I get it, it's this thing, but after a while, it's becoming really weird. Even he was kind of done doing it. He was like, like yeah, this is you enough could, now. You could tell that even yeah. he thought that there was... Yeah, yeah it was a little bit, because the camera is like on him. So they need to fix that a little as well. And yeah, it's fun, like it's a cool thing. But don't overdo it, I guess. Um, so just to make sure to, to summarize it, we all agree camera work needs to work on a little. And energy level, is that what we're talking about? I think the, they, they have a good energy in the song itself and they, they, they just seem to somehow believe it in, mm -hmm. in, in it too. And I think that they will actually get lifted up by when the 
audience will be there. Yeah. And the thing is, that, uh, sometimes when you hear a song, you'd say, oh, three minutes, it's not long. But to me, three minutes seemed long with all this. Yes. Yeah. And it was like, oh, please, we have seen this. I, I really think that when you do this with camera work, you have a big yeah. responsibility for what is shown on screen. And somehow, they, they, when they sit and review it today, they really should say, oh, we, how can we use these three minutes mm. a bit wiser? wiser? That's what it comes down to. I would agree. Now, again, we're going to do this final ch um, check to see if we believe as of right now, this is a qualifier. It's a gut feeling. This may change, but we'll go back to this and do the same thing next uh, in a few days when they're going to rehearse again. But for right now, do you think Poland is going to qualify? I think Poland will qualify. That's a yes from Chris. Sean, is Poland going to qualify? It's a yes from me. Um, I also think that Poland is going to qualify. So there you have it. Three yeses for now, even though we had some constructive criticism. It sounds like we were negative and then we've suddenly yeah. changed our mind. Yeah, but just because we know what yeah. the capability the, of that is. The problem is, yeah. is that the camera work does need a lot of work, but that, you know, there's a lot to focus on there and there's a lot to talk about. But on the whole, the package is good. Yes. And when the audience is there, yeah. people are going to love it. It's going to be a televote smash. I, see, I can see happening. And it's Poland anyway. They normally are. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's, you know, it, it does sound like we're being slightly negative or nitpicky, but yeah, no, it, it's a good performance yeah. on the whole. Once, once they saw it, the, the kings. Exactly. Yeah. It's just the little things here it's, and there. Yeah, it's positive criticism. It's, yeah. I mean, it's we're, we're just not dragging it down. We're, we're rooting for Poland. Yeah. So, but let us know. Did you see the clips on YouTube? Uh, let us know your thoughts below. And are you happy with Poland's performance? Are you concerned? We would like to know. We'll be back soon with the next video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And uh, yeah, next up it is Malta.